Well, today we are continuing our series, New in Town, highlighting some of the most iconic places in Portland and giving you the chance to see the classics in a whole new way. And today we visit Piddock Mansion and go behind the scenes where I got the chance to see parts of the mansion, usually off limits to the public. <laughs> Of course, I am new in town and the Piddick Mansion is something that even people who aren't from Portland really want to see when they come. So we're getting a closer look at this beautiful home, these, this beautiful land and this area um, that gives us a peek back in time a little bit. What are some of the things that people really come to see here at the Piddick Mansion? Probably what draws them in the first place is the view. We're up at about a thousand feet and you can see five different cascade peaks from here. So it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous view of the Portland area. But then you actually get to explore inside the house because this is a mansion, but it is now a, a historic house museum and actually has been since about 1965. You also give people a behind the scenes tour sometimes. We do. This is usually the last Saturday of each month. Uh, we have uh, special tours that you can sign up for and that's where you get to go behind all those doors that in, as in many museums, there's a big sign saying, well, you may not enter, staff only. This is your chance to see that. Yeah, if you're one of those people that says, mm -hmm. oh, I want to go there. It says, don't go. I'm gonna don't go. go. It makes it more exciting. <laughs> What is behind this door? It is actually the rest of the basement where all of the like mechanical systems of the house are located. This is, you know, the heating, the plumbing, everything that actually makes it function like a modern house. So this, for instance, this house, very modern for its time. And as the residents who built it were getting a little bit older, they wanted it to be more accessible, so they included an elevator. So this okay. house always had an elevator, and this is the machinery that runs it. Here we have what we call the vault. That's what it's listed as on the blueprints is this. So you would think, you know, for a wealthy man, he would have a, a safe vault in which to keep his valuables. Uh -huh. We don't think it was ever used as that because this is probably the original door. Mm -hmm. If you had added a steel door of some sort in a lock, it would have worked well as that. Up the servant's stairwell. All right, so these were actually bedrooms for the female servants. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we're into that era where it's harder and harder to get those servants um, and keep them happy and keep them employed here. This view. So, exactly, yes, view great view of Mount Hood oh. out there, so. This is a lot better than my view. <laughs> it's a great view. They did have a male cook for a while, and his room was way down in the basement, because you gotta keep the, the women and the men apart for propriety's oh. sake. This was actually used as a dark room at the time, so that's why it has uh, an old sink in it, but it was used for photography, developing photos. This was Henry's den. Henry Pittock himself would have used, so these built-ins are actually original, and it is now used as a staff break room. The house actually has several terraces on it, and this is one that most people, even though they, they look at this side of the house as they first arrive to visit it, don't even realize exists up here. It kind of it blends in with the house. We do have a historic photo when they had a tent out here, so perhaps oh, really? in the summer it was a little hot still inside, and, and one of the grandkids maybe wanted to camp out on the terrace. This wing is all one room, um, always was. It was kind of used as a storeroom or a playroom for the grandkids. Mm -hmm. And at this point, again, we've just kind of taken it over as more office space on that. More, more great views. <laughs> And the Piddick Mansion offers a behind-the-scenes tour for the public throughout the year if you'd like to go and do that in person. They also feature rotating exhibits. And coming up in the 10 o'clock hour of more, we will give you a look at their latest Lewis and Clark exposition. Yeah, so you've heard of the Lewis and Clark expedition, but this is the exposition, which is a <laughs> world fair that helped put Portland on the map. Mm -hmm. So fun. I love that. 